Hello and welcome back to Lord Fang Gaming Plays the Bar Cell 4. I'm your host Lord Fett and today's the Bar Cell 4 Director's Cut video. We're going to do Mangar's Bones and we're also going to finish the Dark Mirror side quest. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Bar Cell videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated on my content and more. Now, in this video today, we're going to do is get the three and four uh, lava things in. Yeah, we're going to do the third puzzle that connects the two. We're also going to do the one of the puzzle wheel ones, wherever that is. Where you turn the uh, wheel a few times, hit the lever, and that's it. And we're, we're going to briefly look at the other two ones that I am missing one or two of those wheels somehow. Also, like I said before, we're going to complete the Dark Mirror uh, side quest. So this is like a two-for-one deal, folks, which is great. We're going to complete the main quest, Mangar's Bones, and we're going to complete the side quest, which is the Dark Mirror. I got early on in this game. So before we do anything else, let's go to the wheel right now. This is one of the wheel ones right here, so we're going to do it. Now, if anybody in the uh, comment section finds out where I missed the other two at, then tell me. Otherwise, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But still, I'm just doing for loot at this point. Most likely, I'll sell the loot. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's uh, really good in question, then I'll keep the loot. Let's see here. Okay, I messed up on a sing symbol. Now, you get these uh, hints from uh, dead bodies of, uh, what do you call it, foes? Yeah, cultists. Yeah, we're in Mangor's bachelor pad, all right. That's what I'm calling it now. This is his bachelor pad. All the skeletons, lava, freakiness. Yeah, there's beds there, so you get what I mean. I don't want to think what's going on in there, seriously. So, I got the new uh, hood right here. Oh, well, that is actually good. Give Lawrence the old one, the silver circle, from Kyran's uh, tower. Or Kyle's tower. We're going to call it Kyle's tower. I always call it that, but still. And, by the way, I want to thank the person who gave me the idea of having a wine pairing. Yeah, I know who you are, so just brag about it. Just let it loose. I'll allow it. And besides, I'll uh, support you. And I'll give you a thumbs up. And more. So, let's take one last look before we actually go anywhere else. And let's look around. Alright, that looks alright right here, folks. See, that looks fine. There's a dead body. Yeah, see, it's one of those dead bodies. Some of them will have hints, some of them will have... Uh, supplies and that's our shortcut down if I decide to go that route and there's your key right here I'll put timestamps in the video show everybody points of interest and more even the ones I uh, don't solve so this way in case you do do more than I do you can start solving some of them so let's go over here look around one last time yeah look at every nook and crank because you may never know you want to get some supplies in this game just trust me and look at that already cabbage it's not bad. It's some good cabbage right there. And I'm just going to glance around this area some more. And there's a way in. So we're going to ignore that for uh, now in this uh, video. So I'm going to look around see if there's any more barrels to crush. Alright, that's the stairs down from the last video we uh, did. Yeah, see this area is big. There's a lot of puzzles. Some combat. And there's a dead fool right here. Ooh, bones. Ooh, we get to pick his bones. That's for uh, sure. So... Once I am done looking around, next up is I'm going to go straight ahead and start this uh, puzzle. So, I'm going to say, uh, wish me luck. Now, let's start the uh, puzzle here. Object is now to actually uh, get the lava to go to that area outside the room. Where we just passed the freaky skull looking thing. Before we do that, let me wait a bit here. Alright, this is just like the... Uh, Kylander's Tower, except for these spikes won't kill you, so that's the good news. I bet on higher difficulty they'll definitely kill you, so this is like a warm-up from uh, Kylander's Tower, but it's not that bad. Let's look inside. Ooh, water! That is very valuable. I've been buying a lot of water lately. That's used for uh, making foods and more. So let me check over here. Push the button, and the button has been pushed. It's just like pushing that like button or subscribe button, folks. Really, it's that simple. And look like it did start something up. And let's activate the freaky puzzle. And oh boy, this is going to be interesting. So you start turning there. Start turning here. Yeah, just keep on doing what I'm doing. Again, I'll put time since the video start a sequence right here. I'm going to leave this unedited this time, I believe, because this one's not that hard. And this is like one of those uh, boomerang uh, ones. Yeah, those are uh, cool boomerang ones. I always like the boomerang ones because they're uh, very good. Just makes you think on how to actually solve the puzzle. And there we go. And look like we're going to have to turn this a few times. 
And look at that. We're almost uh, done already solving this uh, puzzle here. We just need to just get this to the other side. The uh, pathway. And we got this. See? Look. Watch. 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 And it's going to do a connection there. And just connect it right there. And it stopped right there. Alright. So we got just got to do now is just get to the uh, outside of the room. And we're basically uh, done with this portion of the video here. And look at that. Look at that go. Look at that go. Look at that go. I think I uh, got this. And that's how you solve the puzzle, folks, right there. And what you gotta do is now is uh, go downstairs, rappel down, and actually get uh, Magar's uh, Reclery. Yeah, see? We have it open and it's ready to go. So we get to take the shortcut. Now, you wanna make sure you have grappling hooks. If you don't have uh, grappling hooks, you have to walk all the way back. Yeah. And if you're like me who didn't fight those uh, waves when we start enter this. Uh, Bachelor pattern Mangars of Dark. Well, guess what, folks? You have to sneak past them again or fight them. So now, next up in this uh, video here, we're gonna actually uh, do the Dark Mirror. So you get the key right here. We got the key. We enter this room full of evil, folks. So we go right here, and we're gonna break the mirror. So kick it. And there you go. It has been complete. The Dark Mirror that step. So next step is going to New Scarab Bray, and we're gonna turn this in. So that's one quest down already. We're going to turn it in towards the end of the video, folks. And gals, too, who's watching. Now, next up, what's going to happen is, is we're going to do is uh, give a survey of this room because I want to show everybody where the wheels are at for uh, this one. Yeah. We're probably going to do that real uh, quick. I'm just looking around, glancing at everything. Once I am done glancing at everything, then I'm going to show everybody the uh, wheel one that I had trouble on. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I had serious problems. So much serious problems that, yeah, I kind of sucked at it. But still, I was missing probably one or two more of those wheels, and I would have actually solved it and show everybody the solution to that. So again, I'm sorry for this. And um, in the future, if I do find out the treasure is actually uh, very uh, good, then I'll actually will uh, go inside and uh, solve it for you. You know what I mean? So this is where I show what kind of treasure it gets. If it's an Elven puzzle weapon or shards, yeah, I'll definitely do it. If it's just junk loot. Yeah, I will uh, not do that at all. I believe I should uh, make sure everybody gets fat loot in this uh, Let's Play series. Because that's how I roll. Yeah, it looks like I can't get there. There must be somewhere else, but oh well. I'll probably turn that back, so what I'm going to do is come downstairs. Show everybody the wheels right now. And if I remember right, I think it'll open a shortcut too. Where I'm going. Yep, see there's the wheels. There's the save point. So you do is you insert the wheels. Look like there is a total of four. So we got one there, we got one there, and I'm going to quickly show everybody the solution to this one here. Unfortunately, I missed the other one, but still, might as well see the solution right now. So in case you do find it on your own later on, and this way you'll get some loot. If it's not worth it, yeah. Now, if anybody in the comment section, just please tell me if it's not worth it, then I'll uh, definitely uh, do that. Look like I'm missing a wheel there. Okay, that is not good. And uh, Magic Mouth right there is telling us what to do, and this will unblock. And we'll go in there, and if I remember right, yeah, because uh, we uh, shut that off, yeah, we need to go back up there to shut it on. Yeah, it was a simple solution to do, actually. Yeah, the, uh, some of the puzzles are easy. Combat, on the other hand, yeah, just need to be on your toes. Be on guard at all times. You may never know. And let's uh, do this again and uh, flip things around. Let's flip the script. And, okay, I did that wrong. And I'll do, I'll do it one more time. But still, for now, I'm going to go over uh, here and make sure I do this right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to solve it and just uh, get this ball going. And it's going to do it again. Yep, yeah, see? It was just one thing we need to flip. And there we go. It's pretty easy. And just remember, I uh, followed the uh, line right there. And we're going to go uh, back down and we're actually grab this staff. Or Rekery. Where uh, Mangar's uh, holding. Yeah, that was Mangar's mistake was having a creepy uh, bachelor pad. Because eventually some uh, ventures will uh, raid it. Yeah, that's right, my adventurers. You're all going to raid it, and it's going to be fun. Besides, you should always raid a dungeon. It's fun. I've been doing that lately in this Let's Plays, and I'm having a good time with those in any game. So now, we're going to interact with this uh, staff-like thing, and what will happen is it's going to trigger a story and a little uh, talk with a spirit. And I'll give my thoughts about that uh, spirit. What have I done? I have betrayed my queen. Oh. The shame! How will I bear it for all eternity? 
Who are you? Can you see me? I don't know how it is you can see me, but I thank you for killing my torturer. And if you have any compassion, I beg you, help me. I have betrayed my people, my queen, and my mentor. Fiends brought me here and sacrificed me to their horrid gods. But before the final thrust, they tortured me. And to my shame, I... I broke. I sang to them the song of passage that will allow them to enter Coil. They go there to ransack the palace of the Queen, and do to the greatest of us, Sialma, what they have done to me. They mean to torture him and learn his secrets. Please, hurry after them. They must be stopped before they enter the portal. I will never forgive myself if they do. And please, if you meet Queen Feinwife, beg her forgiveness for me. Now, go now we got that quest complete, thank goodness. However, we have to do some kind of secret. We're not going to do it in this video. Instead, we're going to actually turn in the dark mirror. But before we actually do this, let me explain on what's going on in the next uh, combat. Now, here what happened is, is there'll be some uh, evil uh, paladins, black guards, more like it, that'll uh, actually have a foe that hits very hard. Now, if you don't get ambushed, that foe will decimate your party members one by one per turn. And it's not uh, pretty. However, if you ambush them, well, make sure you place other foes in front of them because those foes will die instead. And besides, I'll show you why you should use this tactic. And plus, if you do it like I did, you're going to make this battle very smoothly. So I'm going to be sneaky and I'm going to ambush these uh, fools and then uh, win the day. So wish me uh, luck. Yeah. Ready. Amateurs. Come here and say that. Yeah. In the hatch. Cease that cattle warning. Risk it. Why do you neglect your mother's house? What have you what done? Are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Away I go. Ignorant savages. Nerve and sanguis. Move! the world of the likes of you. Ready. 
to me? I need a drink. Here. Drink, Will. Now, I call that a victory, folks. That's right. Uh, my main guy died, which is right here. He took a hit, but still, we won. And yeah, and that uh, foe right there was killing uh, his other buddies. It was pretty funny, though. I'm going to say, the Bar Cell 4 is very creative for uh, that in this game. The Bar Cell 4, exactly, because if you place certain foes in front of other ones, then the fun is start seriously. That's just like uh, killing your own men off. And there's sulfur springs, but I'm gonna give one final check of this area before I actually uh, do go on with uh, turning in the dark mirror. We're not gonna do the secret right there. That's gonna be for the next video, even though the location is very uh, close. I'll, if I'm gonna do that, I'll probably start there, so this way uh, be much much easier. I start the video there. But still, I'm gonna do right now is just uh, look around one last time. Say goodbye to uh, Manga the Dark's uh, bachelor pad for now. I might be coming back in the future, might not be. So goodbye to that. Before we do anything else, I'm going to point out the next step of this main quest right here. That's where you enter right there. I'm going to start the next video there, but first thing I'm going to actually uh, do in this uh, video is actually turn the dark mirror like I said before. We're also going to clear out the enemies that I did skip. From the last video yeah we're gonna do a lot but we're gonna collect some herbs first and one of these times I'll have to start uh, turning one of my characters into a master of herbis and the other one a master bomber I don't think I'm turning uh, Scarlet into a master bomber so I made a save here that was real quick so I'm gonna go in and kill the wave of foes which I'll be shocking to say this it's easy On your word. Ascari! Or nothing. Ready! Ha! Look what they did to you! Whatever. Bottom jump! Jump, jump, jump! Um, yes? Ready. Something! 
Here is a history from me from uh, my EverQuest days. Yep, you're going to learn that from me. Now, in the game EverQuest, when you hit the consider button, the C button, and you uh, target a foe, it tells you how powerful they are. Well, in this game, I just uh, mouse over the uh, number. It was red. That was called Miss uh, Con or Misconsideration right here, folks. That's right. They were, like, weak. They said they were like red. Nah, I should have faced them in the last video. Yeah, I should have did it, but that's hindsight. Still, it was fun to kill him on the way out. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. It was wonderful killing him on the way out. Yes, that was so wonderful. I'm going through my inventory right now like a pack rat. And I'm going to sell some of this off screen. Because, uh, yeah, I think you folks are tired of my pack ratness here. Yeah, the pack rat strikes back, and I am a pack rat. I am a proud pack rat. Yeah, I'm hoarding all these uh, legendary weapons, or I should say, epic, uh, what do you call it? Elven weapons? Yeah. Or epic weapons, whatever. Still, I'm a pack rat. I'm proud to be a pack rat. Oh, I forgot Lawrence is a knife one. He's my son, and he also uses knives, and I'll probably have to start putting a knife thing in there, too, for him. Probably use that to uh, get some uh, spell points. I do need some more opportunity slots, though, I'll uh, admit. So, we're going to head our way out. I'm going to go back to uh, Old Scarab Bray. Then we're going to take the uh, ladder up to New Scarab Bray. Because that's how I uh, roll. Now, I am not going to mess with the traps. No. I'm going to leave those alone. Now, if anybody in the uh, board wants to, uh, or I say community, or, or the uh, post about it, saying, Oh, you could get the chests, tell me, please. And please tell me if it's worth it. Otherwise, yeah, I'm going to skip them. That's like doom and death. Oh, wow, that is blocked off. That must be for another uh, quest or something. Probably for the next one. So, now everything is done. Go to Stone Circle, pick Old Scarab Bray, and we're going to head to New Scarab Bray to uh, actually uh, turn this Dark Mirror in. Now we're back in Old Scarab Bray, the old school town that's in ruins. Thanks a lot, Tarjan. Yeah, I am so glad I kicked his uh, booty in in the Bard's Tale 3. That was so worth it. So now I activated the Dark uh, Mirror uh, quest. We're on the final step. We're going to actually turn this in. I grabbed that near the very beginning of the uh, game. And let me tell you all this. It was worth it getting. So now I get to finish things up. These quests in the game, you grab them at the start. You won't be able to complete them until later on in the game, which is very good. I mean... I'm going to be honest with everybody, that's like really good, and it does make you feel good when you complete these quests. I mean, I am serious. It does make you feel great. So I'm just casting that eye spell, so in case there's uh, something uh, sketchy in this area, you may never know. Okay, I went the wrong way. Oops, I think it's that way. Yeah, Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you. You just got to map it on your own. And that's new Scarabray, though. I'm still used to the old Scarabray. Old Scarabray was great, though. So many fond memories. Let's see your statues. Running to the Adventures Guild at night. Crying. Become more powerful. Go into the night looking for uh, barbarians, nomads. And oh yeah, more statues to smash. And looking at that Mangar's Tower. <laughs> Still, we're almost there. Follow the path I am following. And we're going to actually uh, turn this in. And I'll end the video after. Years Friends, of you're back. Thanks to you, I'm recovered. The sickness is gone. Liz, please. You're Thank so you for finding the Black me. Mirror and smashing it. It was a brave and noble thing to do. I'll be fine. So I knew instantly when the deed was done, for the sickness left me. Weaving done. Housework. Yard work. You have saved my wife's life. I am ever in your debt. Thank you, friends. We will never forget you. I'm going to say this. That was a wonderful turning out and That was some uh, decent experience right here. So let's recap. Mangar's Bones is complete. We're advancing the story. The Dark Mirror side quest is complete. In our next video, we're going to start this side quest and then we're going to see where we go from there. 
Well, that's it for the Bars Tale 4 Director's Cut Walkthrough of Mangar's Bones Part 4 and The Dark Mirror. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.